to my channel. First of all, I just want to point out that yes, I have a fireplace going on Netflix instead of a real fireplace because it's currently 70 degrees in the house. It's nice and warm and I don't want to be standing here sweating. So enjoy that little festive corner right here. I don't know. So I thought it would be kind of fun to just go over some of the tattoos that I currently have and some tattoo ideas that I have for the future or planning appointments kind of situation. Hopefully getting within the next year, but you know, who knows? How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Nine. I have nine tattoos. Nine tattoo sessions, but this one's kind of like kind of one. This was my very first tattoo. I got it for my 18th birthday. I went with both my parents. It was in this random tattoo place in San Antonio, Texas. So it is supposed to mean, keyword supposed to, uh, mean inner strength in my senior year of high school and not a lot of people had tattoos. I kind of felt cool that I got a tattoo. I was like the quiet one, always sits in the back class, never says anything. And then, oh, she got a tattoo? What? Who is she? The the second tattoo was this koi fish. I always get people asking, what is this line through the koi fish? And to be completely honest, I don't really know. I gave the artist complete creativity with this one. It was a walk-in. I didn't even make an appointment. I went by myself. I got it at Seattle Tattoo Emporium. The tattoo guy's name was Tony. It was almost eight years ago, so he no longer works at this tattoo place. I don't know where he works anymore. He asked me things like, which way do you want the head facing? And I was like, well, I don't know. Up, I guess. Do you want to add flowers? Yeah, sure. What kind? I don't know. Um, I knew that I wanted it black and white, and I wanted a koi fish, and I wanted it right here. Draw something. And he's like, okay, come back in an hour. I'll draw something up for you. Came back, showed it to me. He's like, yeah, sure, let's do it, sure. Took about three hours. I got it in January of 2012. I had just reported to my first unit. <laughs> I've been there maybe a month. So there are a lot of different legends or myths or meaning behind a koi fish, depending on which culture, which country, you kind of look it up. But for me, I thought of koi fish as a symbol of kind of transformation. And I know that's really like cliche that you get a tattoo for transformation, but whatever, I did it. So the legend of the koi fish is, it's kind of like a salmon. That's how I think about it. It swims upstream. It's really hard. It's really difficult. It's a long journey. It finally gets to the other side of the stream and it transforms into a dragon. So that's what I kind of thought of the koi fish. I had just graduated boot camp. I moved out of my parents' house. It was a big moment. It was a big journey. I just signed away four years of my life to the Coast Guard. The next tattoo that I got was this, right? Yes. The next tattoo I got was this one. It is the Roman numerals for 2014. I got it, I want to say it was like pink, flam pink flamingo or flamingo tattoo. Something like that in, I want to say Cooper City or Davie, somewhere in South Florida. Somewhere in that area, some tattoo place that had the word flamingo in it. And it was just a walk in. My husband got a tattoo the same day. It's obviously very simple. It took about maybe five minutes. It took longer for the tattoo guy to set everything up than to actually get it done. But this one is very meaningful because 2014 was a roller coaster of emotions. It was a very difficult year and it it kind of signifies a lot to me. That year was I turned 21, then I got married, drove cross country from Washington to Florida by myself. I moved there. I went apartment hunting by myself for the very first time. I went from an E3 to E4. I started a new job at Small Boat Station to Fort Lauderdale. My brother passed away in July. And then my husband at the time, my newlywed husband was in California while I was in Florida. So pretty much every, I wanna say it was like every three months, I flew over to California to see him for like a weekend. Uh, a lot of people actually ask me that in person, what is the significance of this tattoo? And I just say, it's memorable. I got three tattoos at once, and this one was, I wanna say the very first one. You're zoomed all the way in, but you still can't see it because this is a wide angle lens. But this is actually my maiden name in my brother's handwriting and one of the letters that he wrote to me from when he was in army boot camp. 
I kept the letters that he wrote to me and this was the best legible of my maiden name in his handwriting. And then this one I got immediately after. This says heart for you and it's in my mom's handwriting and I got this off of a letter that she wrote to me while I was in Coast Guard boot camp. Heart for you and I got it right here because when I was little every time she would go to work I would always do this in the window and say heart for you mom so I got that for her and I thought this was a good significant little placement because when I do this you can read it and then after that one I have one on <sighs> I'm feeling really chonky right now so I don't want to I don't want to show you but I will include a picture right here I do have a tattoo for my dad um, in his handwriting from a letter that he sent to me while again I was in Coast Guard boot camp and the significance placement of why I got it on the rib was because I don't know if it was something of the early 2000s that everyone poked each other in the ribs or maybe that was from a show or like the Simpsons I don't really know but that's something that my dad always did with both me and my brother would if we're like if we're like leaning on the counter like this and our ribs are exposed, that was like your moment to like just jab each other in the ribs and just like, I don't know, it was like a joking thing. Is that like a 2000 thing? Cause I feel like not everyone does that. And sometimes I do do that to people like in, at work. I just did that to someone, I think it was yesterday. I was like poked her in the ribs. I don't know, I do that. Does anyone else do that? And then my next tattoo was actually this one. Um, which I didn't vlog. I think it was just like this much. It was just a little shoulder piece and I got it from Jen Martinez tattoo in Bremerton, Washington and this one I think took about three hours three and a half maybe ish. Oh, oh my god. I forgot one completely Forgot this one. This was by Paul Paul Miller. He was a guest artist I think he was from some shop in Colorado, but I ended up getting it done at Woodwork Tattoos in Bremerton or Paulsbo, Washington. I thought he had kind of been around forever, but then actually talking to him while he was doing the tattoo, turns out he was only a tattoo artist for like 10 months professionally, which completely blew my mind. I actually did vlog this one and this one took about four hours. I remember that man this kind of video is kind of all over the place and then my most recent tattoo was this dragon that kind of wraps around and there's his face and I kind of just named him Mushu is he the dragon from Mulan no absolutely not I just like the name and I figure why not name him Mushu I just think that it completes the arm and it's a very big piece this one took two sessions of about seven hours total but it goes from like here's the tail to the full the full elbow inner bicep and then like back here so this one is my biggest piece and it kind of just ties in with the koi fish the koi fish turns into a dragon and i just added some more flowers to just keep the theme of the flowers and yeah i like it i love the placement of tattoos on the ribs and i definitely want to get one and I'm kind of hoping to make an appointment to get one done on my ribs over here. I feel like this video is kind of all over the place. So if you're here, like, thank you. But like I said earlier, I have a tattoo on my ribs for my dad and I kind of want to move it by getting this one covered up with a really big piece because I want to sort of balance it. Like this arm is fully tattooed and I don't want to get a, wrap, a rib tattoo on this side because then this side is just like blank. So I kind of want to balance it. I really want the really big rib tattoo over here. And I want to kind of move the love you um, in my dad's handwriting to right here. My mom tattoo, my dad tattoo, and then my brother tattoo but I don't know when that's going to happen. Also, I think just because it's in his handwriting and it's like smaller, I don't know if it's because it's like thinner lines and it's just, I don't know, it's kind of like getting distorted because of how small it is. So it just kind of doesn't look super great. So I think if it was just right here, really like clean lines in a spot that doesn't get twisted or anything, you know? You know, this. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, it's it's fading for some odd reason. I kind of really want to get a giant sailboat, like Captain Jack Sparrow kind of boat, or more most likely either a 
kitsune tattoo which is like a fox with like a bunch of tails and it looks really cute either the actual fox or the mask of the fox there's like different variations of kitsune or kind of mixed in with that is a japanese fan and i just think those are really pretty i've always thought those are really pretty as well as a crane like a japanese crane if you can't tell i just really love japanese tattoos i'm actually not japanese i'm actually half filipino my mom was born and raised in the philippines if you did not know but i just really like the look of japanese tattoos and I kind of just want to keep the theme going on my ribs. So that's kind of why I'm leaning away from the sailboat. Then for my back, I've said this in earlier tattoo videos, but my back is reserved for a Sak Yant tattoo that I will eventually get in Thailand, eventually. I don't really care what tattoo it is. I love the look of the tiger, like Angelina Jolie. I love the one that kind of looks like a little triangle that's like in the center of the back. I really love ones that look, I don't know. I just love all of them. I think they all look really, really cool. And I think that would be a really cool experience to get a tattoo done with the one that's like a little stick and they're just like jabbing, jabbing at your skin for like a really long time. I just think they look really cool and I really 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 want to get that. I also kind of want to get an adorable little corgi tattoo, a generic corgi, not necessarily one that looks like goober or one that looks like panda because they are two different colors and they do have a different shaped face. I kind of just want like an outline of a corgi, like a little silhouette, little like line geometric shaped corgi kind of on the back of my arm right here yeah i don't know i just really want like a lot of tattoos another tattoo that i would love to get is one on the back of my neck kind of like well not really kind of between my shoulder blades lower neck area the words to make it count and i this is probably the dumbest tattoo um that people be like really that's what you want to get a tattoo of but i have always loved that line in the movie Titanic. I just think it's so great. It's a great, great quote. It's, I love that movie. I love Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Winslet. And that's just a really great quote to make it count. Like no matter what you do in life, make it count. Whether you're talking about your relationship, your job, your outlooks on life, just make it count, make it count. I'm getting closer to 30 and I'm like, why do I not have tattoos all over my body yet? Why? Like get them done now so I can enjoy them while I kind of am young, you know? I think that's all the tattoos that I plan on getting. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, maybe found it entertaining. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.